everyone, it's Norma Jean. As promised, we are on the road tonight. We're not in the pantry. We're moving the show to, this is my sister Christy's house. This is my sister Christy. Also, there's a lot of, a lot of cooking. And this is my mother. Her name is Norma, also. We're very blessed to still have our mother. At almost 59 years old, I still have my mother. She's going to be 84 in May. And she still cooks up a storm. So we promised you the pizza gainer. And here we are tonight to get this made. She's already started to chop some of the stuff. And Mom, we're going to let you take it from here. I'm going to help her, but she's going to make this. So start, start chopping, and we're going to tell you I'll tell you a little bit about everything that's in here. Go ahead. Do we have four cheeses in there? Yeah. All right, so what kind of cheeses did you use, Mom? I used scamot, provolone, mozzarella. Okay. And American cheese. All right. So in that bowl, okay. Laura Jean, you can good make, on get camera. a shot of that. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, all the meats that go into this. Okay. This is Calago. Years with ago. With the fat. With the fat. So, Ma, I just want to say something, all right? Mm -hmm. And yeah. you tell me if this is right. Years yeah, ago, ahead. the old timers that used to make this, the rustic way, they used to start telling their butchers from weeks before Easter, save me the ends. Oh, Am yeah. I right? Exactly. They use the ends of all of the, the cold cut meats. I like them. Um, but my mother does not. As you can see, everything is fresh here. And she's using, let's let's tell them what's in here. We, we've we used mo mozzarella so far. Yeah. Mozzarella, what's this? Salami. And there's Salami. cabagol. Cabagol. Pepperoni. Ham. Ham. Italian ham. Italian ham. Cavago. We said that Cavagone. already. Pepperoni. You get that? We said that. Okay. Pepperoni. 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 Okay. All right. So keep keep chopping. There's yeah, a lot chopping. of chopping. So keep chopping. Once it's all chopped up, we're going to show you how she mixes okay. it, and then we're going to get the dough going. Now we don't we don't make our own dough for this. I've said this before in my videos. There's no need to make your own dough for this because no. we have too many great bakeries around here. So, my sister ordered the the dough. Am I correct? And where did the dough come from? Salitro's Bakery. Salitro's Bakery. Excellent One dough. of the old-time uh, bakeries that are still around in Cranston, Rhode Island. Cut it this way, and then you pick it up, turn it, and cube it. Try to get it all the same. And Ma, you know, you were saying before, when I first got here, we were talking a little bit about it. You said that this recipe originally is from Nana oh, yeah. Ida, who is my mother's mother, uh, my grandmother. Uh, last year, if you recall, all the pies that I made, um, I mentioned my Nana Ida. It was all, all her recipes. All her recipes, everything I do. She would uh, come to our house every Easter on Good Friday, and uh, she actually ran the show back then yep. and said, do this and do that and yeah. um, you know when she was unable to do it anymore she would run the show from the chair so this is my Nana Ida's recipe right, so that the yeah, when you do that try to do it the same way it's really nice. Got it? yep okay. Okay. fold it over and there we go I'm gonna have a sharp knife. So the knife that my mother is using actually comes Sicily. from Lima, from Sicily. Sicily. It was my grandfather's, my great grandfather's knife, and um, my my father's half brother contacted us last year. We hadn't heard from him in years, and. Uh, said that he wanted, to come and, he wanted to come and visit my mother, and he brought a couple of things with him that he thought the family might like to have. So this knife that my mother is using tonight comes from Sicily, and he said it was my great-grandfather's knife. Ooh, and boy, that's, look at this. she tried a couple of knives Take earlier. This one's working that. good. Look at this. R.G., you see? Look at that. All, all the cheese is, is underneath. I'm yeah, going to actually turn it. my hands are clean. I'm going to stick my because hand in Because we're going to put eggs in there. All the cheese is underneath. Yeah, what didn't that? I do yet? This. Look at that. This one. Beautiful. Right? The cheese is all too. And I didn't so, do the American cheese. No, you didn't cheese. do the pepperoni. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Then we'll my finger off. That's yeah, good. that's not good. My finger off. That's <laughs> <laughs> 
You're doing good, Ma. You're doing yeah, good. Listen, look, you like your apron? Yeah. There you go. Rising star. Rising she might star. take my place soon. It's a falling star. Right. <laughs> it's actually my apron. Rising star. No, never I asked her if she wanted to wear the pantry apron, and she said, no, I like my rising star. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. You can do whatever you want. Well, this is a lot of work, Michael. No kidding. <laughs> this is a lot of work. I'll help clean up. There you go. That's a girl. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's Cinderella. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. That's, I am Cinderella. That's Cinderella. <laughs> she, she cleans. <laughs> right down to the glass slippers. Yeah. 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 That's so my nephew, William, is prepping the big pan right now. Um, my mother says Crisco for the bottom of the pan, so he's going. He's doing that for us, and he just put a little Crisco in his hand. And Crisco holds it all the dough. Right in Crisco place. holds the dough in place. That's what she just said. Okay. All right. No so we're oil, some new, no new tricks today. So, she also does so that's getting prepped. Over we need uh, how many? Two dozen eggs beaten with a lot of grated cheese. And all right, so we're cracking open two dozen eggs. Yep. We'll help beat with this to save, to save some time. Beat them like I'm going to beat up. <laughs> All right, girls, you're, you're doing that wrong. We're watching the shells. You take the egg and you hit it on a surface. Not on the bowl. They Never don't get bowl. any shells. I'm trying, not getting any shells in that cross container. I don't, I don't have any okay. shells in there. Look. No salt. Okay. So, salt and all. Gee, you want to give me the black pepper over there? Yep. Oh, black never mind. We got it. Okay. All right. So we're going to add some black pepper. And just watch out with the salt on here. It comes out very fast. No, 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 no salt. salt. No salt. Okay. No salt. No salt. No salt. No, Everybody hear much. that? No salt. Black pepper. Too much salt in the. Uh, Oh, now, is that enough pepper or you want more than that? Oh, yeah, a little more. How's that look? No, yeah. I gotta switch on. Okay. Alright, now do you add anything else to this? Grated cheese. Grated cheese. Alright, All right, so we're gonna add some grated Parmesan, Parmesan cheese. cheese. About how much, Ma? I know we don't measure, but no, about I how don't. much? What do you think? Half that bag or the whole bag? No, go ahead, keep doing it. All right, good, 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 good for now. Okay. Right. Got a little sprinkle of that cheese on the floor. <laughs> okay. This is my this is my great niece Gia, by the way, <laughs> and my that's my niece Mandy. That's Gia's mom. Yeah. So you're making one. She's making <coughs> large. That's going to be in this pan. This looks like it's oh, it's a 15 by 11. Okay. And then she's using a, a 13 by 9 and then a smaller one. So like three, she's going to get three pans out, out of what she made. So Ma, tell everybody how much meat did you buy? Give us the poundage. <coughs> In total, there was about two pounds of each. About 14 right. pounds. About 14 right. pounds of meat. So two pounds of pepperoni, two pounds of mozzarella, two pounds of Italian, Italian ham, ham, two pounds of bologna, two pounds of regular ham. Uh, what is that uh, out? Right, I said that. Uh, how about pepperoni? The pepperoni, yeah. I already said that. So and then two, Yep. Okay. Two packages of the mozzarella whole. Yep. Whole like milk. milk. Do not use skimmed milk. Oh, good to know. No way. Okay. Uh, all right. Okay. So besides all this chopping, we have two dozen eggs. Let's get this wine out of the way. Okay. <laughs> I'll right. take that. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> take oh, sure, they're all going to take the wine. Okay. Now here's right. what we're going to do. And these eggs, uh, these two dozen eggs, have been beaten with uh, a lot of black pepper, and oh, we're going to say that Quite a, a couple pepper. of handfuls of, uh, of grated cheese. Grated cheese. Okay. And you're going to beat that so that it's. All right. Okay. Bussy now. Okay. Well, you want to know how to do it? No, that's right. I want to know how to do it. Okay. Get me until it sits for a while. I'm sorry, I'm not sure. Okay. Loud, loud, loud. some egg in there. Okay. I think we're going to need more than two dozen eggs. We might. 
So that's about ahead, half. Come on, keep going. Yeah. Oh, all right, we're gonna have to beat more eggs. Okay, all right, all right. Good for yeah. that. All right, let me see. Now, Ma, why don't I'm you going to do this with my clean hands. Okay. There's no other okay. way to do it. Okay. Because it won't get mixed right. Cleanest hands are an island. Yeah. Cleanest hands in the state. Hands yeah. are the best tool. I always say it. They Look came first. Can you see it, Laura? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is good. Beautiful. Okay. Fabulous, Ma. Fabulous. Okay. That one is all set. All right, it's so going to stand for a while. Okay, we're going to move that one over. We're going to okay. take this one, and we already know Pour we're going to have in. to do some more eggs. You're going to need another another dozen. Okay. I'll put another dozen. All right, so here's the second bowl. Get all the cheese out. And so we ended up using another dozen of eggs. Oh, yeah. So for the amount of meat that we told you, two pounds of everything, we ended up using three, three dozen, dozen eggs. eggs. Yeah. So, you know, keep in mind when you're listening to us and the amounts um, of the ingredients, you can, you can cut this as in much, half. You cut it all down. Cut it in That's half all. to a pound of each meat yep. uh, and a dozen and a half of eggs. So, um, you can make adjustments. Okay, so Stop rolling it give my mother a break and I'm going to roll this, this dough out. So, this is a two pound piece of dough? Pound and a half. Pound and a half. All right, so it's a pound and a half piece of dough. This is the piece that's going to go in the bottom of the big pan. So we're going to put the big one together first. So, come on, that's about enough of that roll. Okay. Do it with your hand. Yeah, that's, what, that's exactly what I'm doing. This dough, by the way, feels beautiful. Do it with the tips of your fingers around your right edges. No. Your fingers. Uh huh. You use your knuckles so your nails don't well, do it. Do I have to go to Asian? Well, then I, I can get nails. Your nails, <laughs> <laughs> you, you, your nails you can do. <laughs> All right. Oh, All right. I think that looks good. I don't want to mess with it anymore. All right. All right. See if we can get it up here. All right. So the dough's in. Now you're going to place it in the bottom of the pan. Yeah, wait a minute. And then you're going to push the dough up the side. That's right, Ma. Look. Uh, just push it over. Push it over. Okay. Push, push it over because side, it's, it's thick on this side. We're going to grab it after together yep. with the top dough. Okay. And make a crust right. around. All right. We've got some slack here because well, there was more on this side. So push it over a little bit. That looks good. And you're going to bring it up the sides. The yeah, see how can. it stays with Perfect. the Crisco? Yeah. It don't move. Really? All right. Know, huh? Ready. Okay. Beautiful. Now, this, I get a, give me a spoon, there. big one. Big one. Get rid of the air pockets. Yeah. I'm going to pull this up the yeah, side no, a little okay. bit more. All right. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. Okay. All right. So we're gonna scoop this in. Oh boy. Push that in. All right. Good? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. I'm gonna take this off here. All right. Push it that way. We're gonna get the I'm top piece going. One more pepper. Pepper is the thing. Okay. No, I like that one. I know. How my, how old is this rolling pin? Well, I had it on Victor Avenue. Okay. So ages. They had handles. They just had, it had handles at one point. It broke. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, watch what out happened? now. That was a rough day, huh, Ian? Oh. <laughs> okay. Do it the other way. Yeah. I know. It's a topic for another show. <laughs> for Dr. Phil. So we're gonna go a little bit. Let's see. Nice Auntie. Mm -hmm. Uh, that happens. But that's nice dough. Their dough is very, very, very nice. easy to work with. I want to see something. Okay. Good. All right. Now, now here's, what, here's the tricky part. Go ahead, put it on. Okay. Now, you got to take this. See this dough? Yeah. You got to grab that one, and you got to make a. Oh. Uh, all right. Oh so you, yeah. All right. So you pull you gotta it up. Pull it together and roll it. Pull it together and roll it. Okay. So Pinch that and nothing roll. comes Pinch out. Pinch and roll. <laughs> yeah, right. Pinch and roll. Got Make it. Make sure it's all done. Alright. That makes the big crust. And then you can cut that off if you don't want the crust. You just cut it off. But this is good. 
Looks good. Now do you put holes in the top? Yeah, a couple. Okay. Make sure it's all closed. All right, so let's get her a little knife. The egg will come out. Okay, yeah. and then you got a pastry yep. brush there? Yep. All right. Just washing it all in. All right, so let's brush, uh, let's brush it first. You know how to brush it first? Are you actually making okay. holes? Okay. A little bit of holes. Go ahead. Here. Oh, all right, here. Go ahead, you do it. You want to do it? Oh, boy. Just uh, egg. You don't have to put water in the egg. A lot of people put water in it. I don't. That is beautiful. All right, so we're going to put this in the oven on 350 degrees for one hour. And we will be back to show you what it looks like when it comes out. We're back. And it's been probably a little over an hour. We, yeah. we said originally it was going to take an hour, but it's been a bit over an hour yeah. because we have so many uh, pizza games in the oven. But the big one is done, and William is going to do the honors and take it out for us because it's it looks awfully heavy to me. So take that out, William. Put it right here on the table so everyone can see it. Look at that. There you go. Is that fabulous? Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. So pizza gainer. Nana I, this pizza gainer made by my mother Norma. Mm -hmm. And we are gonna cut this for you, but not until Easter Sunday. Can't and we're gonna it. do something a little different. We're gonna go live on Sunday when we cut into the pizza gainer. We just, we can't do it now because- um, It's too hot. It's, well, first of all, it's too hot, but this isn't supposed to be cut until uh, after. after Good Friday. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. so we will see you again Sunday. We hope you make one for yourself this year, and uh, we'll see you on Easter. Thank you, everyone.